this is just a fancy word for nothing. Like this gives you no benefit. What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about Woke AF, the pre-workout. So let's get started. So one scoop is 12 grams, ser servings is 30. So B12, uh, why this is here, it's beyond me, but most people don't need B12 as a supplement. Um, vegans might, because they're not getting proper meat, so B12 could help them as a supplement, but most people are not de deficient in B12. Sodium, I guess more for uh, just like pumps and stuff like that, because they say that if you take like a teaspoon of salt before your workout, you could get a filthier pump, you know, but I'm not really sure about that. So sit malate two to one. So there's four grams of L-citrulline and two grams of malate, which is basically the sodium that they blend it with. So citrulline is a amino acid, but your body could make it. So it's not essential. So citrulline is basically a precursor for, for L-arginine. And what that means is that the, the oxygen within your, your muscles and your blood vessels will go up. Basically, this dosage right here, the, the two to one, the four grams of citrulline, it's the, it's the like industry standard, basically. It's no, nothing special, nothing bad, you know, just like average. It's mediocre, you know, not the worst, not the best, just right in the middle. So, beta alanine, Derek's favorite, uh, 3.2 grams. That's all right, you know. Uh, it's the it, you know it's it's the average. Nothing special here. So the ISSN they had a study that four to six grams per day increases muscle carnosine by sixty four percent in four weeks. Um, they also had a study that same study that did uh for ten weeks it, it increases muscle carnosine by eighty percent. I'll put the link uh, to that study in the uh, uh, description below. Yeah, they said that 4 to 6 grams per day was safe in most adults. And the only unreported side effect is uh, butthole itches. That crazy, like, gitching effect that most people get. 800 mg short of, of what this study says is a, like, decent dosage. But, you know, the whole industry is, is the same way with the 3.2 grams, usually. So, moving on to caffeine. So, they have 333 mg, which is actually kind of high you know it's kind of higher um the fda says that 400 mg is the like highest that that you should take within a 24-hour period so you know this is kind of cutting it close but not as close i believe Derek's pre uh gorilla mine is like 375 or 350 if you take two scoops the actual serving so this is like average you know like 300 plus is like it's like a lot of caffeine not for beginners you know so caffeine is a stimulant, and it blocks the effects of adenosine within your brain. And at that same time, it can also trigger the release of like adrenaline, your fight or flight response hormone. And that's how you get your jolt of energy. So alpha GPC, 200 mg. Uh, so basically what this is more for, this is for your, it's uh, for like focus and stuff like that, you know. It, it raises dopamine and it could improve your uh, cognitive uh, performance. Uh, their alpha size, I guess that's just their like company branding of their GPC. Taurine, 100 milligrams. I mean, this dosage, not that great, kind of laughable. Why they would put that here, I don't know. I guess ju just to fill up this uh, label. Not really sure why they even put that in there. So taurine, it could increase fat loss, but at this dosage, I don't think it's doing much. So I've like like I've seen uh, supplement vitamin pills that that are like five hundred, a thousand mg. So this is like nothing really. Himalayan rock salt. This, what this is doing here, I'm not sure. Like if we have this salt here and then the sodium already here, why do we need salt twice? Is my question. Secondly, this is just a fancy word for nothing. Like this gives you no benefit. Oh, well, it might, but it's more right now. Like, like there's no study right now that says that this could give you a benefit for your workout for, for basically anything. 
this is like modern day snake oil. You know, uh, as of now, there's no study that 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 claims that this works. So I mean, I mean, fuck, dendrobium, four to one. So this is basically seen as a uh, well, potentially a, a DMAA replacement, supposedly. So there are currently no studies that show that this could perform physical activity. So back in the day, this was used as a medicine. And currently right now, it is being used as a anti-cancer drug, I believe. Uh, but in terms of physical performance, I'm not sure. And this dosage, I'm not even sure if that's good or not. Because there's still no, no studies out relating it to physical performance. Alright, so Deer Velvet, this is a joke, <laughs> basically. So look, so like Deer, deer Velvet, you know... You know, it could be helpful, but this dosing is horrible. Like, their whole company is based, like, around this, this ingredient, and they only put in 50 megs of it. Laughable. Like, most most companies, they sell it as with uh, 250 megs and, and up. You know, this, uh, I don't know, like, I've seen as much as, like, 1,500 milligrams. That's one and a half grams, you know, 50 megs. I don't know if you're going to get, you know, any any uh, performance out of that. What is speculated that that antler velvet could do is it could raise your IGF-1 levels. But at 50 megs, I don't think it, it's it's doing that. Cinefrin, it's a beta agonist and it could improve your um, your metabolic rate. So helping you lose fat faster, or just, you know, uh, digest food faster, stuff like that. Uh, 40 megs, I... Uh, it should be a decent dosage, I believe. So, astragalus, it could increase your... The nodal ginseng could do is it could help alleviate sore muscles. The rose of Roxburghi decreases oxidative inflammation. That could increase your, your muscle recovery. Um, 25 mg and then 25 mg again. So, like these two, 50 mg together. If that's a proper dosage, I'm not very sure because there's not that many studies out right now that that these plants right here, that these herbs are that great in terms of physical uh, performance. They probably are, but less than 25 mg of, of Roxburghi, you know, in my opinion, probably not. But I'm not a uh, a, a herb expert. So basically, Woke AF, this is, uh, like, full disclosure, this is one of my favorite pre's, you know. It's not, the, it's not perfect, but uh, it's still one of my favorite. So... Which brings me to the question of why hasn't Derek made a video about Woke AF yet? You know, because in my opinion, Gorilla Mind and Woke AF are like top two, right? The only difference is this, butthole liches, right? Derek hates that, so he he doesn't put it in, in his pre, right? But why hasn't Derek made a video on it yet? More place, more dates, Woke AF. Greg pops up. Derek's here, but he's talking about a TikTok, and I don't think Woke AF is mentioned in this video. That's basically it. But Derek has talked about Tyler Wood's pre-workout. I believe he talked about Greg's workout, uh, a pre-workout, I'm sorry. So he's talked about a lot of pre's, and he's shit on a lot of pre's, but he still has yet to talk about Woke AF. Why? All right, guys, thank you. That's it for this video. Check out swoleclub.com, S-W-O-L club.com peace